Life as We Know It with Tom Walton. Today I salute our brothers and sisters to the north, those intrepid souls who call Canada home and actually seem happy about it. Take the sport of curling. Some might call it shuffleboard on ice because that's basically what it is, even though that's a bit of an insult when you consider that curling is not a big deal in Florida retirement communities. One team member slides a 42-pound granite rock along 125 feet or so of ice and hopes it stops in the middle of four concentric circles called the house, thereby scoring a point if it isn't knocked aside by an opponent's rock. Kill or be killed, that's about it. So I was intrigued to learn that the Bowling Green Curling Club, which had called the Bowling Green State University Ice Arena home for so many years, had moved to a new and much more visible location along State Route 25, or Dixie Highway, between BG and Perrysburg. The buzz in both communities has been virtually nonstop since the grand opening of the Black Swamp Curling Center last month. Potential curlers in the Perrysburg Maumee area no longer have to travel to Bowling Green to take up the sport. The new center is housed in what used to be an Amish furniture store. There's a joke in there somewhere, but let's move on. The center houses four sheets of ice, allowing four matches to be played simultaneously. Four sheets, all indoors. They could have built an outdoor curling center, I suppose, but then they'd be four sheets to the wind, and that is not a good thing to be. A member of the club purchased the building a few years ago. A five-year business plan was drafted, and a massive internal rebuild began. The new owner now rents the place back to his own club. In curling, a delicate touch is everything. Slide the rock at too slow a speed and it never reaches the house 125 feet away. You can't score points if you can't get home. Too fast and you run the risk of demolishing the other end of the building. It's like stopping a train. Please do not inquire how I know this. I tried curling once and let's just say that had it not been for the courage of a fellow competitor, my rock might have ended up two counties over. Perhaps even more important than the thrower are the sweepers. Responding to shouted instructions from their leader, called the skip, two team members sweep the ice just ahead of the sliding rock. The brooms increase the distance the rock will travel and can influence the bend or curl of the rock's trajectory. So it appears that curling is the only sport in which participants compete and perform maintenance at the same time. They are human Zambonis. Two good sweepers can mean extra points, a win, and bragging rights at the bar. Oh yeah, the bar. The new curling center has one. It's called the ninth end. Each game consists of eight ends. The watering hole is the ninth. The U.S. curling team has never taken the gold over the Canadians at the Olympics. That would be like a team of Sherpas whipping the New England Patriots. But the Americans can dream, and one day, who knows? The new Bowling Green Curling Center offers Learn to Curl nights. For 20 bucks, they show you how it's done and then hope you'll join a league. They want hundreds of new members, men and women alike. And you can learn more at bgcurlingclub.com. I've got to believe that somewhere, the late Paul Olskamp, former BGSU president and a Canadian, is smiling. Life as We Know It is written and hosted by Tom Walton and is a production of WGTE Public Media. Life as We Know It with Tom Walton can be heard on WGTE FM 91 every Monday afternoon during All Things Considered at 5.44 p.m. Or hear past episodes at wgte.org life.